So what was it like to contact the author and, and say to him, Hey, I want to, I want to write a version of your book, but for a specific audience. So I'll just, I'll give all my secrets away. I know if there's someone I want to be around that they've already got some mastermind or something that they're a part of and how can I provide value to them? So first thing was Mike had a group that he's a part of. So I went to that group and be and joined that group and he was part owner of it. So, you know, like giving him some value there. Sure. Then I went to him about a year into it and said, Hey, we're implementing this and seeing that it's actually working too. You know, that was a big thing. Social proof, being able to go to him and say, Hey, it's working with these real estate investors. My background is real estate investing. What do you think about a book for real estate investors? So that's where I contacted him via email. And, you know, after getting to know him a little bit more, so that invitation was a little bit more open. So sure. then I went to him, got in, got a meeting with him. And then we talked about the book and he was like, yeah, he's like, I've been to Collective Genius and I've like actually gone to some of these events. And I think a book for the real estate investing world is great. So that's that's what it was like contacting him. And then from there, just working closely with him on, you know, the writing process and that type of stuff as well, too. Yeah, because it was pretty cool. He was a keynote speaker at Collective Genius um, at, at one of the events. And then yep. he was also a keynote speaker at uh, Freedom Founders as well. Yeah. And um, uh, it, it frankly, it works for any business. You just have to tweak it a little for, you know, specific businesses. Exactly. Uh, but it, it really is um, remarkable. Of, <laughs> we should know this. That's what's so funny about it. Right. Right. We, we should all know this stuff. It makes sense. But it, as entrepreneurs, we, we we tend to not think that way. We we're just moving forward. And we're especially at the beginning, we're, we're just trying to stay afloat. Right. Uh, uh, till we <laughs> till we find our direction. And I get that all the time. Like people feel bad, like I should know this or they're embarrassed. Like because I have I literally after this, I have two calls with investors that want to, you know, like potentially work with us. And I know at least one of them is going to be embarrassed to talk about where they are right now financially and yeah. just talking about that because most people, like you just said, Bill, that they feel, they feel like they should know this, but where do we get any financial training at all from a just very bare bones, basic perspective of like personal finances, balancing a checkbook, but what about balancing your business's money and like the cash that flows through there, which is much more complex than just your finances at home. So it's like, where do we get that train? So that's where until there was this framework in this system, people kind of, you know, had their own things or if they hired a great CPA and could like really understand and could walk them through and not just speak CPA garbage <laughs> language, you know, and like actually talk on the entrepreneur's level that, you know, of where they're coming from instead of just their jargon, then there wasn't that system. So I always tell people, don't feel bad, like where you are. But now there's a system out there that can help you, like that talks about sales and expenses, not not profit and loss balance sheet, not like crazy terms or like things that you might want to, um, you know, that you might shut down from a CPA. 